guys, it's me Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. We are also doing our Make It On Monday project and today we are making a really fun Bon Voyage card. Looks like a little suitcase. You open it up here and then you have the inside for your greeting. We're also making the Corianne envelope which is a box style envelope. A little bit thicker than your normal ones. Alright, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. When you see your name at the very top, that verifies that you were logged in. On this page, you want to scroll down until you come across the What's New for Cricut Access. Click on View All. In the search box in the upper right hand corner, type in the word Bon, B O N. Click on Enter. That brings up the Bon Voyage card. Click on that. This brings up the preview window. Bottom right, click on Customize. So we have the card and the envelope. I'm going to right click on it and choose ungroup. Move my envelope out of the way. Take my left mouse button across the entire card. Go to the top toolbar where the size is. I'm going to unlock the lock and make the height be 8.5. Click on enter. And the width will be 5.5. Click on enter. That way is your standard A2 size card. Now I'm going to go ahead and separate the pieces. For my card base, I did use a lighter cream color. For this green, I chose a pink color. Move all these out of the way as well. All right, now we have this part here and that part. I did make both of those be white, so I'm going to click on the yellow one. On the right-hand side toolbar under layers, you'll see where it is. It'll be highlighted. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and make it be white. Now I can go to my color sync panel on the right-hand side and drag my green layer to that white layer and make that be white as well. Upper right hand corner, go ahead and click on make it. So we have those pieces there, the brown, the lighter brown, or in my case the cream, our green, our green, and in my case again the pink. All right, bottom right hand corner, click on continue. I'm going to go ahead and cut these out with a table and put our card together. Hey right, guys, we are back. Everything is cut out. We're going to go ahead and set our envelope aside for the moment and work on the actual card. Go ahead and fold on your score marks. Take our bone folder and give that a nice crease once I find mine. There we go. Alright, so we have that. Then we have our green layer here and our brown. And I chose pink. You can choose any color you like. I think green, pink, and brown all go really well together. So you can kind of see how they're going to layer up like that. So we're going to first work on this one here. Take our pink to our green. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. I get it from MamieMadeIt.com. I'm going to squirt some around it. And in the middle. And you want to line this up really well. Okay, that one is done. Let's take our brown layer and glue that to that pink one. some glue on that round piece, that little line. Okay. Really fun card. Different, you know, and if you guys are going to make this card for somebody, if they're not going on an airplane, you can certainly change out those images and make it be like a boat or um, a bus, you know, whatever image you want. I didn't get that lined up all that great, but it'll be okay. All right, now we have the pieces that go on top. The only thing I changed with the card was the color of the pieces that go on top here. I made mine be white. And also the size. It was normally like an 8.4 by 5.4 and I just changed it to be 8.5 by 5.5. So it's your normal A2 size card. So did you guys enjoy the hop? that we did on Saturday. It was a lot of fun. I was really pleased with everybody else's cards. It's kind of funny, we all kind of used the same style, you know. All right, we have that one done. That's going to work on this green one and pink one. I think quite a few of us used the Blessing stamp set and the fall paper. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna get these two lined up, again, the best you can. Okay, all right, now the top of that piece is this one right here, and you don't wanna glue the bottom part, just the, the frame. And I wanna apologize for not doing my Sunday series yesterday. I had my idea planned out, and we went to the dollar store, Dollar General, to get supplies for it, and they didn't have it. And, um, you know, it was football yesterday, and the Rams are on TV, and they're hardly ever on TV, and that's my husband's favorite football team. Um, and I was going to send him to Walmart to get it, to get what I needed, but I felt bad, so I thought I'll just do it next Sunday. So for the month of October, if you guys recall, we're doing seasonal Sundays, which is basically... You know, a seasonal project. So for October, it would be Halloween or fall related. And then November would be Thanksgiving and fall. And then Chris or December would be Christmas and winter related. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just change out my project and make a different one. And I had a Christmas one on mine. I'm like, well, that's not going to work either. So I might do it sometime this week, just so we're not too far behind on it. I know I've been kind of slacking on my Sunday videos. And also, um, one of these Saturdays, Hubby and I are going to carve out pumpkins. That'll be kind of fun, and I'll share that with you guys. We're also planning on hopefully going to the Jacksonville Zoo. They have a, um, every year they have it. It's like a, um, a Halloween spooktacular to where they decorate the zoo for Halloween. Not too scary, you know, because the kids are going. So I thought, well, you know, we'll go there and make a little day trip out of it. See the monkeys and... All that fun stuff. All right, now just take your white pieces and line them up on top of the brown where they go. If you want to use like a, a fancier cardstock, like a glittery cardstock to make it look more like a buckle kind of thing, you know, change it up. And it's your card. All right, we've got this little one here. So it's a really thick card. That's why the envelope is like a box envelope. Now, if you guys don't know how to buy it, I know with the envelope punch board, I believe there's uh, videos on on how to make a, a thicker envelope, you know? If you guys don't like that or don't have an envelope punch board, you know, just save this project, delete everything but the envelope, and then save the envelope. So you'll always have a box style envelope. All right, now we're gonna put these pieces on. And you can, of course, customize all these images or sayings. That's what's really fun about the Make It Now Monday part. You know, you can make it, but make it your way. You know, you don't have to make it the way it says it is. It's in there. You are legally allowed to change everything. And I saved the airplane from the inside of the circle cut to put on the back of our envelope or the top part. Get that guy on there. All right, so the card is done. For the inside, I did cut a piece of green cardstock. This is three and three quarter by five, and a piece of white that is three and a half by four and three quarters. I'm gonna use my We Are Memory Keepers corner chopper on the quarter inch end, just so it kind of mimics the round corners on our card. I thought about doing pink in here, but I consider pink almost like the accent color. All right, I had a hubby load my ATG gun last night, so we're good with that one. All right, and layer these two guys together. You could also cut out the palm tree again from that front of the card, that part there. You can cut that out in green and save the palm tree and put that on the inside as well. All right, let's glue this guy down. Pop that in the middle. It's a little bit bigger than your normal quarter inch border, but I think it looks okay. All right, so there's our card. All right, let's work on the envelope. Now you'll see it is double score marked. So we're gonna do just go ahead and first crease on them with our fingers, just kind of finger press them in place. And then we'll go back in with the bone folder.
And I had people ask me before, and my Cricut does it every now and then. It doesn't do a, um, a really good score indentation, depending on what kind of paper I'm using. If I'm using like a thicker paper, it does. But nine times out of ten, it doesn't really give me a, a well-defined line. So when the Cricut is in the process of doing the score mark, go ahead and just lightly press on the scoring tool to kind of push it down as it's moving across your paper in the machine. And I find that gives me a much better score mark. All right, our last one here. All right, now take your bone folder. Really important, you wanna crease all these edges really well to form that box. And this is still your normal A2 size envelope, but just for, um, if you, have an, if you have a card that has a lot of embellishments or a lot of 3D stuff going on it. Because you're gonna pay for that when you mail the card. So I would probably just hand deliver the card in the envelope. All right, so we have all that done. Did I get all them guys? I did. All right, you have these little bottom flaps here and they are a pain, but you wanna go in and squirt some glue on them, a good amount of glue. And then we're just gonna fold that little flap and have it meet that score mark on the bottom. You'll kind of see where they go. And I kind of bend it down and then pinch. And you want to pinch for a little while, depending on how fast your glue dries. And again, the art glitter glue does dry really quick, but this is just you know such a small piece that it's going to want to resist the glue. So I just kind of really, really press on it. You can even kind of bring it down with your bone folder and just kind of go in there and just reinforce it. That might work as well. Okay, we got that one. Hopefully it'll probably come undone, knowing me. All right, I'm going to skirt some more on this one. You can also use a, um, a stronger adhesive, like a sticky strip. Okay, I'm going to kind of hold it down here, and again, just press that glue really well. I can still see some of the white on this side, so I know it's not fully dried yet, but we're going to work with it. All right, we're gonna fold this piece down like that. Okay, we're gonna put glue on this flap here. See that, it's coming undone. So I'm just gonna put some more glue on there real quick. Okay, we're gonna just do everything all at one shot. We're gonna bring these down, bring that up, and just kind of hold that. I'm going to my bone folder. Press the little flap down first, get that little flap. And then I'm gonna take my bone folder inside here and just so I have like a little bit of a cushion, just squish this glue down. Okay, just like that. All right, these little flaps, you don't need to glue because if you glue them, it's gonna be really hard to get your card in there. It just kind of closes that up. Okay, so the top little flaps, you don't need to glue. All right, now we have the little airplane that we saved. We're gonna go ahead and put some glue on the back of this guy. Just something. Like I said, yes, I don't, I'm not really one to decorate the envelopes. I do, if it's like um, Christmas cards I'm mailing out, I might stamp something on the envelope or for a birthday kind of thing, but if just for your everyday kind of cards, I don't. I always decorate the inside of the card though. I do stand true to that. All right. So there you have it. There's the envelope. Kind of cute, right? Then we have the card. Now the card's not going to stay shut, so if you want to, you can put a, um, a glue dot there, even just a dab of regular glue, and let it kind of dry. That's what I did. So I have a little glue dot there. I just took my finger to make it not so sticky so it wouldn't ruin the card when the person you're giving it to is opening it. And if you are giving this card to somebody who is traveling, you know, a really cute idea, you can put a gift card in there. All right. I'm gonna close that little guy up. Push down on him. And then we're gonna go ahead and plop him in the envelope. And you can always put the embellishment side toward the part I'd be writing. Of course, you'd fill the card out first. All right, then you just go ahead and fold the little flaps in like that, and then close that. You can seal that off, and then you're, there you have it. A really fun card with a coordinating envelope. 
So once again, here's the card and there's the envelope. All right, guys, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.